Uh, what is going on guys, this is Alex here today, back again with another FIFA 23 Derby County Rams Revival Caribbean Save Season 5 Episode 8 for you today. And once again, it's every episode at the minute is action packed. We've got a double header against Leicester City today, home in the Premier League, home in the fourth round of the FA Cup. And we've got a home game against West Ham and an away game Spurs to follow. So I mean... Just East Midlands packed episode. As you would have saw last episode, we did play really well. We scored absolutely just been scoring goals for fun lately. You know, look at that five goals against City, five goals against Leipzig, five goals against Chelsea, six goals against Brighton, four goals just against Arsenal. Just been absolutely mental our goal scoring streak. Four against United, nine against. Forest, we are playing on world class. It still never changed. Just see how it goes. We 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 always say this, but we've just built a very good team. So yeah, we've got first game will be against Leicester in the Premier League, and then we'll be playing West Ham at home, and then Leicester in the FA Cup and uh, deadline day Spurs away before that's just to finish the month. Just a quick evaluation of things. We're still top of the league. Got a nice fifth run, 52 points, doing very well. Got a very good goal difference. Squad is performing very well. Really, pl oh, I hate this bug. You go in it, it says zero. You go back in it and it fixes it. Absolutely nonsense. Eduard Mendy, six clean sheets. He's been making plenty of saves in the matches so far. So, I mean, he's doing really well. He's definitely doing a lot better than Jose Saw. I mean, just a quick on the evaluation. I mean, as, as we are in January, Jose Saw, Ben Osborne and Dahl have all left. I don't know if I said it in the last episode. So, obviously, they've gone. We've still got a very short, well, very reasonably small squad, 27 players. But it's doing what we're supposed to be doing. Mendy is 34, but he's taking every game in his stride. We have £96 million pound in the transfer budget. I don't really have a great urge to sign anyone. I mean, we're making money. We're doing well on the finances. Just a quick update on the 270 games played. 50 lost, 48 drawn, 172 won, 804 scored, 406 conceded. Biggest win, still Wickham 9-0 and Forest 9-0. And our biggest defeat was that legendary match against Liverpool 8-0. But yeah, I'll say things are just generally going really well. We're just trying to focus on what we can do this year. Obviously, we've won two back-to-back -back FA Cups. We're just trying to push the bound, just trying to be as successful as possible. First season in the Champions League. I mean, we have Inter Milan, which will be in the next episode. So that is going to be very difficult. The last 16 in the... Champions League. Just a quick look at the FA Cup fixtures. While we're on here, I mean, third round. Is there any major upsets? QPR got a good draw to Spurs. Uh, I don't really know all the fixtures. Blackpool got a good win over West Brom. That's decent for them. Um, Forest Green got a good result against Everton. Can't complain about that one. So I can't really see any upsets, but in terms of the fourth round, it's still going to be very interesting in terms of the games. Black, Brighton, Blackburn, Everton, Wolves, Sheffield United, West Ham, Derby, Leicester, Port Vale, Fleetwood, Brentford, Arsenal, Liverpool, Southampton, Borough, Bristol, Bournemouth, Stoke, Watford, Hartlepool, Preston, Rotherham, Spurs, Norwich, Man United, Hull, Chelsea, Newcastle, Fulham, Man City, Swansea, Leeds, and big games there. But yeah, I think the team is doing very well, as, as I always say. It's just goal scorer Ollie Watkins is still absolutely firing this season, 35 and 27. And Trinkout is definitely up there. We've just we've got a very free flowing attacking play. And it's a very good squad. And Adama Traore has come in. And he's taken the game by... Well, taken part of the team by storm. He's doing really well himself. 
mean, Louis Sibley did score an absolute banger in that game against Forest, and so did Troy Ray, two most memorable goals. Absolutely wonderful. So, yeah, I think I'm rambling now, so let's crack on into today's games. Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Well, the weather forecasters promised us an agreeable day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Derby County against Leicester City. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Good luck. It looks for Derby County. Firing it towards goal. Well, keeper in control. Over it comes. Well off target. Didn't have an awful look. Crossing possibilities. And you can sense the threat is there. Determined defending. And the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty given. This to open the scoring here. In it goes! A well-taken penalty! Must be! Oh, it was close, but he's put it over. Controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. And the referee's verdict is penalty kick. Well, no card, just a warning and a fair few protestations. Well, not every foul is a yellow card. I think the referee is right here. And confidently converted. Keeper, he stands still, hoping it's hit. Oh, managing to beat him. As a go. Well, the keeper had to concentrate. Adeyemi. Gives it a go. Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. Forget about that moment of misfortune. It's got to be! And he's... Rifled against the post, but back in play. That is official. And oh, the... can he score here, Derek? Still a chance. OK. Please return to your vehicle immediately. Thank you. Could be. And a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebration. For a comfortable finish, it's a really great goal. Kings. Potential danger. Well, the goalkeeper in charge of the situation. 1-1 with 67 minutes played. Thank you, Alex. And play oh, Stuart, they might be onto something. Goodness me, what was going through his mind there? Chances on. Majestic piece of goalkeeping. Well, he loves the big most. Diallo. He's got the right idea with that pass. He has to do is make the right connection. Gonna get a try. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. And the flag has been raised here. Well, they can't effectively. Could pull one back here. And there it is, the final whistle. And the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces. Well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today. In the final analysis, he was one of their better players, but needed to be better still, I think. Well, I would say he was average today, but he can't be at his best every week. He just did a good job for the team. Store for you today. The hosts have been scoring freely all season, but they face the best defence in the league. Who will come out on top? Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. 
Welcome on a wet night for all concerned. It's been raining cats and dogs here. I'm Derek Ray, and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Derby County up against West Ham United. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Watkins and number 14, Marley Aki. Of Menace. Oh, lovely incisive pass. And a goal! 1 0. This is just as good. That's an excellent goal. goal for... Chance to play it in. He takes aim. Can they slot it home? And the keeper was finally able to claim it. Well, what a great piece of goalkeeping. Can they convert? Oh, marvellous save. Trying to deliver it accurately. Oh, it's in. A two-goal cushion now. And the lead... For... Not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Sané. Excellent ball over the top. Well, that effort was always going wide. High pressing at its best. Well, if you're going to challenge like that, it has to be spot on. What did the referee think of it? And the red card has been shown, and that puts a bit of a stain on things. Well, they're in a great position. Options in the centre. Surely! And it goes! A three-goal cushion! Got to have that near post cover for me. To stop him. It's there for him! Well, it might still work out for them. Zane in the middle. No goal, it won't count, the flag was raised. And a fine cross. Chance here, and there is the goal! He's found the net, joy unconfined! The pitch. Must score! Determined defending. Sensing this could be a turning point. They need a goal here. And he read it really well, fine save. Over it comes. That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good. And the keeper flings himself at the ball. Trying to pick out a teammate. Really good diving stop to make sure the threat came to nothing. And this would reduce the deficit. That really would have changed the... Shown inside. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Locatelli has a go. Oh, striking the crossbar. You can't get... West Ham United facing Sheffield United. Well, it's great to have a break from the league for the players and the fans. In the opinion of the referee, that is a penalty. This to get themselves back into it. And he puts it away confidently. Chance here. Oh, can you believe this? Back from the brink and wild celebrations on the touchline. And there is the referee's whistle for full time. Even Stephen here, they can't be separated. We were treated to goals. And Stuart, interested to get your verdict. Well, Derek, what a good game it was. Plenty of chances, some good attacking play and a couple of outstanding individual performances. I really enjoyed that one. for you today the hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium the tension palpable stay tuned we'll have all the action for you live on EAT welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down I'm Derek Ray and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson and live action to come from the oldest cup competition of them all the FA Cup it's Derby County versus Leicester City well, Derek, players and fans love a cup competition. And although we're a long way away from the final, both teams will be looking to book their place in the next round in the hope of a good run in this tournament. 
Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. What are you expecting to see from him, Stuart? Well, he's very much a confidence player, and at the moment his confidence must be high. Three goals in the last three games, and I think he's got every chance of scoring. Louis Sibley. And a little bit too much height on that one. Useful looking ball. There it is! The first goal in the derby. A special moment. Finish. He showed a lot of composure there. really wasn't a great effort Gaia Gaia this could square the game and that's exactly what has transpired now is with them it's on the break Williams he's got to score well, I'm a... oh, showing excellent vision and now waiting to pounce and a goal was served up on a silver platter for him. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Must be, and he's done it. Parate again. It has to be. Now that is a moment he would love to have back because it... it's an exciting transfer, isn't it? He'll add a lot of quality to his new club and you'd expect him to have an impact. Getting anxious when they have the ball. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And the emphasis is on creativity. Takes the shot. And... Well, it could be on for him here. The save was a good work up to this point, Stuart. Oh, I really liked his first half. Oh, wait a minute, Stuart. Opportunity. And the keeper nowhere to be found, not that he's complaining. In the end, but where would this looks more than decent? It should be! And a goal! A quick one too! And they've turned this game on its head! The way they've been played, that was always... And a useful cross. He knows he's got to react. And a big moment because the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty coming up. And that is when you need your goalkeeper. Delivered into the box. And that's chances on. Oh, denied by the post. Can he get one back? Well, he had the measure of it, the goalkeeper. And that's it, the final whistle. And the hosts will go through. Well, what entertainment that was. They certainly played some great attacking football and were a joy to watch. But moving forward, they will need to tighten up defensively. They were far too open at times. That will need to be better in the next round. No two ways about it. He really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, what a great display that was. He really did inspire them to victory today. That was a 10 out of 10 performance. At the moment, four goals in three games. You can't argue with that. The action is live next. Hello everyone, I must say it's always a real privilege to commentate from this venue. A warm welcome to North London. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Tottenham Hotspur and they take on Derby County. Well thanks Derek, the best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And he takes on the shot. Well, fantastic reflex action. Trincao. A mischievous effort. Oh, a superb chip. Spellbinding. Well, there you can see it. The visitors haven't been able to control. Oh, wait a minute, Stuart. Look what's happening. Still a chance. And the keeper hangs. Rate and discipline has been excellent. 
for any drop in tempo and this lead could easily slip away. Can he put it in? And a goal it is! They lead by two now! Fully deserves! Sprint he shows to hold off the defence. Bothering him. Can he take advantage? A goal! An exceptional performance this. Four to the good now. Martial. The crossbar got in the way. And it's all gone to plan for the visiting fans. Three points for them. Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening, and they played really well. What a performance that was today. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And, of course, he scored two really good goals. Well, that has been it for another episode. Things have been interesting we've we've managed to survive some results indeed starting off with that league game against leicester we had a nice 3-1 win we dominated really i think leicester got rather unfortunate hitting the post and the crossbar multiple times we hit the crossbar in the second half ourselves so it was it's very strange game uh so we won 3-1 it was not the worst performance but i think well, we definitely dominated the chances. 15 shots to their seven. Mendy made six saves, so he kept us in it. They were we didn't have we didn't manage to work the ball around as well as them, but we definitely dominated the ball. Yeah, you know, dominated the middle of the park with 41 tackles to their seven. So we dominated the interception side of the game, and we just kept on the front foot and we managed to take full advantage, getting a three-one win. And then next up. We managed. We were very, very lucky. We managed to salvage a three-three draw to West Ham. Bearing in mind, I forgot to take their league position in account. We'll go through that in a minute. But we were three 0 down to West Ham at home, which is absolutely unbelievable. Anaki Penner was the first half goalkeeper for that, and we'll get onto him in a minute. And we substituted him straight away in the second half. But we did. We did manage to get. 3-1 at half time and I just it was a very frustrating game West Ham was just very hard to break down that game they played very well it was a very even game in terms of the chances ten, we had 10 shots their keeper was making saves they had 9 shots scored 3 goals very early on they just built the pressure on it was a very hard game to play so we managed we were very lucky to salvage that with especially with the late Trinkau equaliser, literally last kick of the game virtually. One last counter attack, put it in the back of the net. They kicked off full time, so it was literally last chance of the game and we took it. So we managed to scrape a point out of that rather than lose three points. So we did I'm rather impressed with that. We soon bounced back again against Leicester. An entirely different game once again. Four two against them. They played slightly better, you know. We had eleven shots to their nine. We, were, we passed the ball around more, but I think they probably deserved a bit more than what they got in the, in the FA Cup match. I think we definitely played better in the league, but in the FA Cup match, we went 1-0 up, they went 1-1, we went 2-1 up, they got 2-2, two -two, and then just a 2-2, two -two, it fell apart, we got made it 3-2. Bounced back, we made it 3-2, then quite quickly we made it 4-2, and then it just sunk out of the game, really. Trincao was on fire in that match as well. And we've just been away to... Spurs and um, what can you say absolutely dreadful Spurs they had two shots the whole game it was a walk in the park to us and we had eight shots got four goals just did what we had to do and was under no threat and it was really disappointing from a Spurs position so that is January complete that's four episodes, about well, four games complete, but we do have some things to get into. I said about Anaki Penner. He has been sold. He has been sold to Leon 
literally 13 million, which was it was his market value, but obviously now he's left, he's got him to 14 million. Makes sense. But yeah, literally, soon, as, soon after that West Ham game, the bid came in, and I think he played so bad because his mat, mat, uh, his mat sharpness was red, and he because he don't play, so obviously he's not been sharp, but when he has come in, he, do, he does normally make saves and do quite well, but unfortunately, got to a point where he's just not playing, and it's money that we got into the team. Thirteen million pounds. So we've only got Eduard Mendy in goal now, but I think after that, just twenty something minute three nil deficit against West Ham, it's shown we had to try and move them on. And next up, there was another deal. Indeed, we signed a striker. We signed Anthony Martial from Bologna for twenty million pound. I thought, well, he's thirty one. We need a back. We need a proper striker. We can't keep playing a Dharma in that position or around the front. So I thought we've struggled with that rotation. We got him on a good deal. I think twenty million ain't too bad to be honest. With his value is twenty four. He's eighty two overall. Came on against Spurs. Had a few decent touches of the ball. Got dispossessed a few times, but he did hit the crossbar very late on. I mean, he only had eight to ten minutes on the pitch, so he didn't have a lot of time at all. But still a good player at the end of the day, Anthony Martial. Just very injury ridden in real life. So he's been very unfortunate that since he's been at Man United from a young age. He just he keeps getting injuries and he can't stay fit. He is a good striker. But yeah, that is the full games done for today. In the league position, we are now built a nice lead over at the top. We've got eight point gap over Chelsea and a nine point gap over Manchester City and Liverpool. As I was saying about West Ham, they are there in fifth. So it is to be understood as why they were difficult to play against. I did not take that into account. But looking at the league, just this, it's a weird league table. This, at this point in the career, mode, uh, just the league table's weird. Chelsea second, Man City third, Liverpool fourth. That, that's fine. West Ham are playing well, fifth. Newcastle 6th, Villa got a good squad in 7th, but Man United in 8th, Spurs in 11th and Arsenal in 13th, it's just, sorry, I don't, I don't know how was Arsenal in 13th in the league on 29 points, it's unbelievable, but it is what it is, but yeah, I say, looking at, Manchester, looking at Chelsea, I should say, West Ham did do us a favour, they drew, which why... We got a gap. Uh, actually, as you can see, we actually did also simulate the game against Watford. I totally forgot about that. That that match was brought forward due to our next round in the FA Cup. So we simulated it and we won two one at home. So that is very nice indeed. And yeah, even Chelsea they lost to Watford themselves two one. So. That built the lead up at the top, but 78 goals, 28, 20, 78 goals scored, 28 conceded, 50 goal difference. We are dominating the attack. We score goals for fun. Defence has been better than what it has been in recent years. So, moving on into the next episode, we're going to have another very interesting game. We were playing our last 16 match in the Champions League. So that is going to be very tough indeed. Very, very tough. Inter Milan, Italy, San Zero. It's going to be very tough. So we're going to be going away to Anfield. Away to Italy. We'll be simulating the game against Bournemouth. Simulating the Bristol game. Simulating or highlights against Bristol and Sheffield United. And we shall play Newcastle and Inter Milan. So that is going to be a very, very difficult episode. Moving into the pe- well, finishing February and advancing into March. So it is make or break in the Champions League. We've got one shot at it now. Episode. I hope you've all enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I'm out. Peace.